Hello, welcome to Solo 2 Part 2. Um, oh God, I hope you're ready for this script because uh, it's been really difficult not leaking. Uh, and I'm talking about laughter as well as sharing the details of uh, what's actually in it. It's a little bit wild. It's a little bit uh, crazy and it's a lot of fun. And I want to thank everyone for joining us for the second part of Solo 2, an AI story. Uh, before we get into it, let's go through all the housekeeping and let's just smash through it really quickly. So uh, if you are a new viewer, please hit subscribe, hit the like button. But most importantly as well, share this around. If you're in Facebook groups, Twitter groups, whatever it may be, if you think someone might like it, share the stream. Help it get seen, um, and that will help us make more of this stuff. And similarly, 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 thank you to our patrons. Um, your support helps us immensely. It is still always just leaves us flabbergasted, uh, to quote Chris Ryans from last week, that people put their dollars down on what we do. Um, so thank you. Thank you, patrons. Um, to them, your screenplays are in the mail. So open up Patreon. Uh, you can read along with us. Now you'll notice that uh, the screenplay this week or this stream is not illustrated. You'll get the illustrated version after the stream. The reason why is because we've got some uh, secret cameos, so we don't want to spoil that for anyone, even the cast. Uh, now, super chats and chats. So because we're going to be moving through the stream at kind of, you know, like a, a fairly rapid pace, if we miss any super chats, which we appreciate, thank you, but I'm sorry in advance if we miss them and we don't get to call them out. We'll scroll back. Uh, we're going to take one break in the middle of the script. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll scroll back and we'll, we'll find any super chats that are there and call them out. Uh, if you've got questions as part of those, we'll answer them at the end of the stream. Um, now, on the end of the stream, we will have a couple of questions that each of the cast and crew will answer, but we're going to be having an after show over on Broaxium's channel. It's linked in the description of this video below, um, but you know, you can also open up another browser tab and just go straight to that address uh, and uh, hit subscribe on Broaxium. And uh, yeah, when we finish this one up, uh, which will be in about two hours time, we will then jump into Broaxium and we'll just have a chat. So hopefully we will see you there. Um, if you are going to share this anywhere on social media, uh, use the hashtags uh, Solo2AI and make Solo2 happen. You can tag us on Twitter at Blue Bantha Milk. Um, now, before we uh, start introducing the cast and welcoming them back, I just want to make very clear, as was uh, the case last time, this is not for kids. This screenplay uh, has some adult themes in it. So if you've got kids listening, maybe don't, you know, definitely don't. I don't want to tell you how to parent because, uh, you know, we've got... We've got a new parent, and actually, I'll, actually, I'll wait till we do the uh, I'll wait till we do the cast intros, and then I'll introduce the uh, the new third host of uh, Blue Bantha Milk Co. Um, and uh, the final disclaimer before we welcome everyone into the stream, written by the AI. This work is completely fictional. No one was hurt in the writing of this fan fiction. No one is being severely spanked over this fan fiction. It is just a little imagination exercise. So, with all of that out of the way, let's start welcoming everyone in. Uh, first up, we have writer and producer Adam Lance Garcia, who is playing Han Solo. How you doing? Hey, Adam. Uh, and we've got Chris Ryans coming back as uh, Lando Hondo, and this time as a Stormtrooper cadet, and uh, you can find uh, Chris at Broaxium. How you doing, Chris? <laughs> Look at you. You're Sorry. muted. <laughs> You're Maybe muted. not. Maybe he's playing with us. <laughs> yeah, he could be. His mic is muted. <laughs> <laughs> I want him fix that up. Take two. I'm doing good. There we go. <laughs> hey, Claire from uh, Imperial Senate and Kessel Run Transmissions reprising Chewbacca. How are you doing? What's up? What's up? I'm so excited. <laughs> And Raven from Sisters with Sabres playing Emphis Nest, 
Chakrati, and of course, Helen. Super, super big character, Helen. Helen is very important. Hello, everyone. And uh, we've also got not safe for Star Wars Boba Fett, Dan Miller. Are you also, also forgetting about Rota? <laughs> <laughs> How could you forget about Rota? Uh, Dan is also from Broaxium. We've also got Laura Kelly reprising Kira, and you can find Laura at Force Toast Pod. Hello, hey, hello. Happy to be back. Oh, who have we got? Jabba. Jabba. Pete Fletzer. Around oh, the Galaxy oh, oh. cast. And you're also taking on a Stormtrooper. I am, and I'm very excited about that as well. Glad to be back, man. Thanks for having me. Welcome back. And uh, of course, I'm playing Maul. Uh, now we've got someone else here that uh, you may not recognize. It looks like a little cookie monster up there. Uh, and the reason why we have a cookie monster up there is because Sean is not narrating this stream, uh, but welcoming uh, the third co-host of Blue Banth and Milk Go. This is oh. August Fallon. Oh, 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 beautiful. Oh, look at it. No, so, cutie. Stepping Small. in as a narrator, we've got the ever, ever amazing Luthien from Girls with Sabres. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here and congrats to Sean. Oh, uh, thanks oh, for this stepping is a in. Ride. You're welcome. And thank you for asking me. And I'm so glad I'm able to do this. And yeah, uh, Monster Peace Theater, I felt was very appropriate. <laughs> it's very appropriate. It's <laughs> very, very appropriate. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Now, uh, as mentioned earlier, we've got a couple of surprise cameos. So uh, get in the live chat and start speculating who that may be. The cast knows who mm. one of the cameos is, and one of them has been redacted from the screenplay. Um, I think that's kind of it. Are we all ready to go? So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to play a recap. Uh, Luthien, as soon as the recap finishes with Chris saying that he's flabbergasted, you can jump straight into the narration. All right. All right, ready to roll? Yeah. Bring it. I know you think this is my fault, and I get that. <coughs> Han, you don't know shit. You never do. <laughs> Suddenly, the door to the cell block opens, and in walks Lando Calrissian. He's handsome, cape-wearing, cheats at cards, and looks extremely angry. Suddenly, an audience of singing prisoners enter the arena. Are we in a space opera or something? If it is a space opera, I'm seriously missing the good part. I've got a bad feeling about this. Everyone calm down. We didn't come here for fun. And now, they have a bad feeling about this. I too have a bad feeling about this. Maul and Kira are seated at a boardroom table with a bowl of snacks. Incoming communication message from the nearby Imperial ship. We're being visited by a sentry droid. Maul is not paying attention. Instead, browsing the hollow net. A shot rings out. A soldier falls to the ground. Smoke rises from Han's blaster. I shot first. <laughs> <laughs> Wabani Captain Andy tries to get up, but trips on his rubber sandals, landing hard. <laughs> Maul and Kira jump into the middle of the scuffle and do superhero landings. You okay? I'm Maul. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. But what did you do with the weapons you stole from me? I want to trade them back to you for information. I know where the king is. Han walks into the cockpit and sees Kira. He is shocked to see her. Kira gets up, stands her ground, and throws Maul onto the bed. Maul grabs Kira, lifts her up, and puts her in the naughty corner. <laughs> if I want a taste of your lightsaber, you have to take one for the team. Maul holds Kira, forcing her to his face. Kira makes eye contact with him, and she tells him to touch her. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Maul tries to get up, but Kira kisses him on the stomach. <laughs> he falls down. Chewbacca looks out of the cabin window. They're flying over a planet that looks a lot like Tatooine. This place is awesome. It's like the best crappy town ever. You're my buddies, and you will help me. And we're going all in together. It's time for the big time, boys. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. 
Maul turns around and opens a trap door on the floor. Hiding inside is Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, and General what? Grievous. What? Maul closes the tra trap door and exits the room. What just happened? Jabba sleeps on his front throne, but he is awakened by the doorbell and the voice of his Twi'lek receptionist, Bib Fortuna. My king, this man says he has a proposition for you. What proposition? <laughs> Twelve dozen Vibro blades. Two we took from a pirate. My dropped cargo. Jabba starts to clap his tiny hands. <laughs> Rota, a large monkey-like creature, is hiding behind a wall. Chakrati approaches. What did you do with the droids? You can't trust a lousy monkey. That's what you can't do. Not after what I did. Ships have exited hyperspace. Sensors cannot tell us who they belong to. So, the droid fondler brought the Empire back. <laughs> Hondo Anaka, pirate and scoundrel, lies in a steaming bathtub, playing with rubber ducks and bubbles. Where's my wife? Outside the Moss Eisley Cantina, Boba Fett and Enfys Nest are thrown out of the entranceway. They stand up, wavering, both drunk. My parents taught me to respect my elders. There's your parents right there, love. <laughs> Flashback before the Empire. Enfys Nest approaches her family home. Boba Fett burns Enfys's house. Her family flees on foot. I have come for my gratuity. It was included. Boba Fett burns Enfys's parents. My parents. It wasn't included. Boba Fett molests Enfys's cousins. Wow. My family. Boba Fett slowly eats chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Boba Fett eats the cat. Hide him, Adam. Hide him. <laughs> the flashback ends. Boba, we need some help. Boba Fett molests Hondo's ass with bed sand. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. Boba Fett draws a picture of stick figures on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Boba Fett penises Jabba. <laughs> what the hell just happened? What? <laughs> Boba Fett slowly eats chicken. <laughs> what? Oh boy. <laughs> Flabbergasted. What a ride. Oh, let's do it. Exterior. Tatooine. Day. The sky captain lands behind a mountain. Han, Chewbacca, Lando, Maul, and Kira exit. The small rescue ship lands in the parking spot next to them, and Helen and Troy also exit. Well, this place looks like someone took a dump in a Lothcat refresher and called it paradise. It's not my fault we're here, Michael. I hope I never have to come back after this adventure. Han wants to go directly to Jabba's palace, but Lando wants to get a refreshment with the Wookiee. Chewbacca and Lando take off ahead of the group. Maul, Han, Kira, Helen, and Troy walk slowly after them. Han tells the story of how he will join the Rebel Alliance and kill the Emperor. Kira seems unimpressed. Blah, blah, blah. The Rebels couldn't organize a Batman karate contest. Yeah, they could. They didn't even pick anyone from their own homeworld. You're lucky. They've got me to guide you. So we're going right. I'm not letting you go, and you can't join the rebellion like this. How about you, Maul? Oh, I don't care. I just want to kill Kenobi. <laughs> He's been oppressing us all this time. If only I could work out where he is. Maul turns and scans the desert. In the distance... A few Sinar fleet droids walk across the sand, picking their way through the dunes. He could be anywhere, doing anything, on anyone. Maul turns and sees Han waiting impatiently. <clears throat> Sorry, I just can't believe you dragged me here for this. I'm not even tasted a Kenobi before, but <laughs> it's also very kind of you to have me along, too. Is this the beginning of a impossible friendship? In case you missed the gist of it, I can look this way and see what's going on over there. But you have to look away because I can't do it with you watching me. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> no, no, no. Han and Kira turn and look in the opposite direction to give Maul some privacy. In the distance, they can see a battalion of Jedi armed with battle droids dancing in the desert. 
<laughs> oh, I'd say they've been here for quite some time. <laughs> and certainly not somebody we'd want to bother. Maul looks at the dancing Jedi, smiles, and then turns back to the others through a perfect pirouette. <laughs> 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 Let's go to them and ask for some of their dark chocolate. <laughs> I hear they make it themselves. No, dark chocolate is awful. Can we just get on with it? I wore open toed shoes and the sand is chafing my rear end. <laughs> Nobody likes sand. It's coarse and it's rough and it gets, that's a disaster for Kira's rear end. <laughs> An oil bath is what I need. Maul pulls a handheld device out of his robes and hands it to Han. The device scans the landscape, presenting a map of the area. Han grabs the handheld device, then twiddles with it. Helen snatches it from Han. We have everything we need to get on our way. I'll see you in court. Maul pirouettes again. He then snatches back the device and examines the display. He points to a palace on the map. This is the way. Wait, <laughs> I've lost my Wookiee. <laughs> the caped fellow would benefit from full frontal nudity. We must retrieve him for my benefit. They follow Chewie and Lando's footsteps in the sand. A second ship, the Ebon Hawk, lands behind a cover of large rocks behind Jabba's palace. Two figures emerge. They are Dash Rendar and Sanastaros. They are not in this story. <laughs> Interior, Tatooine, drug pot, day. Chewbacca and Lando are in the drug pot, having a refreshing drink. Lando's under the influence of spice, laughing hysterically. <laughs> You know what, Lando? What? My singing voice. Yeah, <laughs> your singing voice. I'm going to take your advice. I'm sure you will. Lando is about to sing when the ghost of L337 appears, standing by the door to the drug pot. That is so meta. <laughs> Lando pees on Chewbacca. Chewbacca opens his eyes. Hello. <laughs> what do you think of my handiwork, L3? L3 watches Lando struggle to do up his belt. L3 considers taking Lando's pants from him altogether, but remember, she's not that kind of ghost. Well, that's always a mystery. I think a guy in a Bacta suit is trying to get in the door. I was in space with Chewie, working on an engine. <laughs> was it a big lump of metal? Was it curved? No, it was a beautiful young woman. I see. What was her feeling about this? She turned into a spider, then she bit me. <laughs> oh dear, and then what happened? I think that young woman changed my fate. Shut up, Lando. Hey, I heard someone banging on the wall, but when I looked, all I saw was a reflection of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even smell the wind. <laughs> A lack of wind sounds like a weakness in the hole. There's got to be a weakness. You've got a duty to inspect it. I'm the best nephew ever. Yes, I am too. <laughs> and for my partners, no, I didn't take you to a cave full of spider monsters. It's like they don't want us to know they're alive. <clears throat> I was walking down a hallway once and I saw two people that I'm sure you know. I think they died. Yeah, I know them well. Remember when I found you and Chewie having a staring contest? <laughs> <laughs> How about a tug of war? We had one once. I lost. I'm sorry to hear that. 
but he's not going to win against this piece of scrap. Not once I'm done in the maintenance bay. It'll be patched up in minutes. <laughs> Maybe we can have a practice tug. Maybe I'll practice on myself first. <laughs> Solo. A Lando story. I guess I'll just go and find myself a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Chewbacca returns from the bathroom having cleaned Lando's urine from his fur <laughs> he sees Lando and L3 chatting by the bar who's this hot piece of slut you brought <laughs> Lando eats an invisible cupcake <laughs> This is L3. You met her in the previous film. <laughs> she was my hot... <laughs> She's my hot, slutty new wife. <laughs> oh, she... Lord. <laughs> Does she know anything about your heavy machinery? But she knows nothing. <laughs> L3 fades away as Han, Kira, and Maul enter the drug pot to collect <clears throat> Lando and Chewbacca. They are arguing over the details of the plan. No, Jabba can't be shot. That's not the plan. Well, I've never shot a woman before, have I? And Maul doesn't have a gun. Neither do I. It's illegal! <laughs> I can't wait until I'm the one that pulls the trigger. I have the gun! <laughs> Give me the gun. An alarm sounds. Mm. Shit! Mm. My shirt is on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Where are Helen and Troy? <laughs> I think they're still outside. When we did all the let's fake our death stuff with the escape pod, do we use a fire extinguisher? Yeah, I think we did. Han grabs a fire extinguisher and runs to save Lando. One more time. No shooting Jabba. He's mine. <clears throat> Shit. The building is on fire. It's not my fault. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I'm sick of this. I think I'm going to make big cakes <laughs> and eat all of them. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Now look, who's going to join me? Bum. <laughs> Ba -bum. Can we get on with it, please? <laughs> Exterior, Tatooine, day. Jabba, Boba, Enfys, and Hondo arrive at the palace. Han, Chewbacca, Lando, and Kira are waiting for them. <clears throat> Han breaks out in song. Get to the birthday boy. Want to be king of the galaxy at least? I don't want to be king of the galaxy. <laughs> what do we want to be? I want to be me, that's who. <laughs> Why don't you come back? Because I finally become me. <laughs> Lando returns, limping. Lando breaks out in song. Hey, Han, it's your lucky day. It is my lucky day. <laughs> yeah, you need some help. What kind of help? Whatever you need, Han, <coughs> like a new submarine. <laughs> right, I need a new submarine. Hate to break it to you, Han, but... I'm the one who needs a new submarine. <laughs> I need a submarine. 
That's my line. You nasty mofo. <laughs> <laughs> Lando draws his sword and accidentally wounds Han's shoulder with it. How's it feel to be stabbed by a princess? <laughs> what? Han, not to rain on your parade, but did you know it's true? What? <laughs> Lando really doesn't need the new submarine. Jabba proceeds to make oh, sex no. sounds. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, he really doesn't need a new submarine. <laughs> Han gives Jabba an evil look. He doesn't appreciate the sex sounds. <laughs> and how do you know what anyone needs? Girl talk. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Maul rejoins the group, stepping between Han and Jabba. Helen and Troy are dead. Whose fault is it? It's not my fault. Maul holds out his arms, faces the camera, and breaks out in song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's all have fun and let's play when we know what we're fighting for. <laughs> when we know what we're fighting for. My stolen goods. <laughs> now let's have fun and let's play. Your goods I tried to steal. Now let's all have fun and let's play. <laughs> The camera circles Maul and Jabba as they face off against each other. Boba Fett is ready to attack, oh, but no. Jabba raises a tiny arm as if to say, I've got this fella. Maul and Jabba face off in an arm wrestle. <laughs> the battle is tense, but Maul wins the arm wrestle. <clears throat> I guess I don't need a submarine after all. How disappointing and shameful. Maul places his fists to his hips and looks proud of himself. Han is surprised. Now give me what I came for. <laughs> if either of you want to talk about your feelings, come and find me. <laughs> Jabba raises a tiny arm towards Boba Fett as if to say, I haven't got this fella. <laughs> Kill them! What's happening? Boba Fett aims at Han. Han runs at Boba, throwing punches. <laughs> Boba fires his rockets at Han. Chewbacca stands in his way. Okay, Boba, you big jerk. Let's do this. Boba grabs Chewbacca and initiates his jetpack, propelling them both into the sky. Mid-air, Boba Fett <laughs> begins to molest Chewbacca, but Chewbacca on, is resistant. Oh, boy. I'm all out of bed, Saint! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back on the ground... You want a war, Jabba? You want a war? You've got one. Han kicks Jabba in the crotch and bashes Jabba's head into a rock. Back in the sky, Chewbacca and Boba Fett land on a cloud. Boba <laughs> fires a rocket at Chewbacca. Chewbacca eats it. Hell! Practice makes perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Respect. <laughs> Boba flies away. Chewbacca is stuck on the cloud. We don't see how, but he finds his way down. Meanwhile, Jabba and Han are punching each other and trying to climb onto each other's heads. Maul watches, waiting, biding his time. Ha! Stop! You have the advantage. Come here and make me feel young again. You'll never beat me, <laughs> old man slug. Jabba and Han are both sitting on the ground. They stop and turn to each other. Jabba laughs. Hey. 
Hey, I said it wasn't oh. personal. And it's not my fault. Jabba laughs. Oh, 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 oh. you prick. <laughs> hey, I said it wasn't personal. Jabba punches Han in the crotch and knocks him down. Wow. <clears throat> so, you don't want to talk? Go on. The fact that we still have a relationship is the most extraordinary thing to me. <laughs> Jabba points his tail at Han right between the eyes. Hop along to your girlfriend, my boy. I have unfinished business with Maul. Interior, Jabba's kitchen, day. Kira is fighting Boba Fett in the kitchen. Han enters the room. What are you doing? I'm trying to stop him. Why? Boba Fett slowly eats chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to stop him because I love you, Han. I love you too. Glad to see you two made up. <laughs> Suddenly, Boba Fett holds a sword to Han's throat and makes a tiny cut. Come on, Han. <laughs> but I didn't make up with you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was your fault. Han points sternly at Boba. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Han points sternly at Boba. There's no place for a nerf herder in my crew. Yes, there is. There never was. What? But now I've made room at, at the cool kids' table. <laughs> Outraged, Boba Fett stabs Han in the side. Han falls to his knees. <laughs> Boba Fett flies away as Chewbacca enters. He sees Han is stabbed. Get up, Han! You're alive! I know! Is this a joke? We're married. <laughs> and that's no joke. <laughs> I didn't realize you were a love robot. I am a robot. I can eat anything I want and never get fat. I can only make one joke at a time. But I am the funniest <laughs> robot that ever lived. I don't need to know how to program anything. And I can even type faster than a hyperspace drive. You're not just a robot to me, Chewie. <laughs> I have a I have a twin sister, but I don't talk about her. What? Chewie's sorry. I'll take you to her. In the background, Lando can be seen filling large sacks labeled with dollar signs. <laughs> no, Chewie. We must reach the rebellion and figure out how to stop the empire. If you say so, you're an expert in getting in and out of trouble, Han. <laughs> Where's Maul? Uh, which one is Maul? <laughs> the six-fingered one. The one with the <laughs> eye patch? Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the guy. <laughs> Maul breaks through a wall as if to say, I don't know. He is being chased by Enfys, who is carrying a broom. Shoot! Get out of here, red turd! <laughs> 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 Maul is super pissed and super mad. His aura reeks of this madness. You haven't seen the last of me. What? Oh man, I thought I was done with this dumpster show. <laughs> Cheesy mother's daydreams for you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> The music swells as Maul flies away. His legs are rockets, which we're only finding out now. Man, he is a badass Sith, right? I think so. So that is why all the juveniles around here are obsessed with him. They don't know anything. They know he's a monster, but they just see his strong biceps. <laughs> it's hard to believe you know so much about him. I mean, he is a D-bag. 
<laughs> <laughs> He's also a good guy, deep down. Believe me, we've shared moments. Wait, wait, who won the fight? Me, I won the fight, but not the war. So what's the plan now? I will go home and burn my doll collection again. <laughs> <laughs> Chewbacca looks to Enfys. We should figure out what happened to your family. Where are they? If I can help, I'm the good guy. Enfys holds up a drawing of stick figures on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I drew that. So, can we just go and see them? Of course not. Chewbacca leads everyone out of the kitchen. <clears throat> Han and Kira begin to kiss passionately as they walk. <laughs> and Fist follows them. And break time. <laughs> Kissing while walking. Oh, that is wow. difficult. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Boy. I get motion sickness. And with passion. <laughs> and he's married to Chewbacca, for God's sake. Sweet I am, Chewbacca. and he's a love and she is a love robot. I mean <laughs> she can only tell one joke at once though. Claire? <laughs> Claire? Yes. Claire. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I wasn't expecting uh, Chewbacca cleans Lando's piss out of his fur. Yeah. <laughs> not not something that I was looking forward to. I'm like but, um, I don't love that that happened, but <laughs> it's okay. You know where to send the you know where to send the dry cleaning bill. Just yep. you know, exactly. add it on over. <laughs> you have How's no the idea. Chicken Dan. <laughs> it's it's I'm I had to eat some of it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm like, no, I can't be eating. Uh, it's, it's not good. You know, it's not a good show to just sit here and eat chicken. But I'm like, I gotta have some. I saw a biscuit too. Don't forget yeah. that biscuit. Mm. I, I love the line, biscuits. like, which one is Maul? He's like, uh, that's why all the juveniles around here are obsessed with him. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Bismarck. Yes. Wow. That's yeah, yeah. commentary right there. Meta. AI. Or meta. <laughs> Easy <laughs> mother's so daydreams, meta. girl. <clears throat> oh my god. Easy mother's daydream. <laughs> <laughs> so much so going past. So oh much man. Oh, Yo, I'm not yes, sure what a cheesy yes. mother is, but yeah. I, I figure being from Wisconsin, there's a good chance I have Ooh. one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, just, man. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Alex, back. Alex from Star Wars explained. Yes, yes, it's time for Bantaverse explained. Uh chat. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yeah. Good luck. I like, I like to know that. Yeah. I'll yeah. <laughs> start with Ben Sand and, and work our way up. <laughs> yeah. So Alex Sand is already explained. Yeah, I'm canon in one uh, universe at least, the Banthaverse. And that's all yeah. that matters. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah but it needs to happen. <sighs> oh, God. All right. NSFW channel for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on. My current working theory: the AI was born to bring us episode ten. Now has entered puberty. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He's not yeah. wrong. No, I, I definitely am on this one. That is a good theory. <sighs> oh God! All right, shall we uh, move on? Let's do it. We shall. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. Twenty-two. Hi, hi, Molly. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <sighs> Exterior, Jabba's palace, day. Chakradi and Rhoda look at the dust settling over the battleground. In the distance, Jabba's droids are sweeping up debris. I'll bet those droids haven't had a single chance to test themselves. Well, Jabba's always had problems with his droids. But I know how to test them. Jabba and Hondo join Chakradi and Rhoda on the ledge. Oh, when you're this old as I am, everything has to be exciting. All I can say is that he's one big teddy bear. <laughs> and his uh, granddaughter is a hoot. 
If you've met Sarip, you know what he means. Jabba oh, flails oh, his oh. tiny arms and laughs. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think I'll try to get a rescue tribe of little lizards to our rescue. Come on. All my pirate gears in my room. Even my lucky coin. <laughs> oh, I've got to keep a tight rein on Rhoda. Never thought we'd turn out like them. Like what? Troy and Helen. We're not dead, though. Friends. <laughs> Shall we go to an all-you-can-eat buffet? Maul flies through the scene. He cuts Rhoda's head off with his lightsaber. He continues flying through the scene. Jabba laughs maniacally. Chakrati is shocked. Shocked! Jabba watches Maul get smaller and smaller in the distance. Well, my good man, but I think I have just the species for hunting you. Jabba turns towards a big cage full of spider monsters. He opens the cage and hands them a shred of Maul's Sith attire. Find him. Bring him to me. Exterior, Tatooine Desert, Day. Maul lands on a desert sand dune. He is alone with his thoughts. She's dead to me. Maul finds a dead bird and tears off the wings. He what? nibbles them. He walks further into the desert and tosses the scraps into a pool of quicksand. He feels satisfied. He walks and walks and walks and walks. He cries as he walks. <laughs> Maul is crying because he lost Kira to the scummy so-and-so and can't handle it. His pain is horrible. Maul walks further into the desert to find peace. I can't lose her. I can't lose her. <laughs> His tears flow so much he can't see where he's going. He falls down. Ahead, an Imperial Star Destroyer has landed on the planet. A Stormtrooper, a Stormtrooper Cadet, and a Stormtrooper Commander spot Maul. The Stormtrooper Cadet addresses Maul, while the Commander glares from his beady eyes attached to his small, round, coconut-sized body. Stop right there, crybaby. <laughs> Stopping? There is no stopping. <laughs> no, but I am the Empire. <laughs> no, I am the Empire. You're not the Empire. <laughs> the stormtroopers begin to imitate the Emperor. Maybe I'm the Emperor. Hey, look at me. I am the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> no! <clears throat> oh, you do a terrible Emperor. Find the Jedi. Kill the child. Find me some cicadas. Find them or I will find you. I just love cicadas. Show them your Emperor, Commander Charles. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, but mine is better. Tear down the palaces. Wipe them out. All of them. Burn the Republic down. Treason. Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Stop oh, this! <laughs> Don't fear. The shield of the Dark Lord is back. <laughs> for the one for true power. Show them your unlimited, unlimited power stance, Commander Charles. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. No. No. <sighs> No, please, no. 
<laughs> the one true power, the cicadas. <laughs> the cicadas. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find me? Sentry droid, bro. Oh. <laughs> no, <clears throat> not that sentry droid, bro. Oh. oh, boy. And we followed the expert of Commander Charles. <laughs> No! <laughs> Maul uses the force and blows up the stormtroopers. Suddenly, their star destroyer explodes. Maul looks at his hands, stunned. Was that me? <laughs> A shadowy figure is dancing in the fire of the downed Imperial Star Destroyer. Maul, in his full Sith attire, walks forward. The figure stops dancing and meets Maul. Jar Jar Binks. Ah! <laughs> well, well, well. Yeah. Hey, stranger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> 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 Dog, they were tracking me. Of course, I saved you. I am your cuddly friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am your master, and you are my apprentice. <laughs> Can you see the fruits of your labor? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed, your power is indeed something to sing and dance about. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't look a day older than 25. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave this place. The sand will age you and make you so unsupple. <laughs> Maul and Jar Jar Binks begin their walk towards the Sky Captain, holding hands. <laughs> it's nice to have you back, my cuddly friend. It's good to be back. <laughs> Interior. <laughs> well done. So good. So good. So good. <laughs> Interior, no. Millennium Falcon, day. Han and Chewbacca are piloting the Falcon. Kira is sleeping in a chair. Enfys is adding drawings to her scrapbook. Where do you think you're, we're going? To find the Rebellion. And how, and how do you think we're going to find them? And what if we can't find them? That's Noi my fault. <laughs> 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 well... You're a good pilot, and I'm a better pilot and a good navigator, so. What? That's how you know you're a good pilot. <laughs> Makes sense. Kira wakes from her afternoon nap. <clears throat> Where are we going? Enfys stands up. <laughs> she and Han get into a battle of looks. Wow, <laughs> 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 uh, Princess of Shield, what do you desire? What I've always wanted to be included in the galaxy's most important <laughs> events. Yes, my lady. We are. You are. We are. 
Kira <coughs> stares at herself in the mirror, jaw dropping. You know something. You know something I don't? Yeah. Yep. You know something. <laughs> Enfys holds out a piece of paper, folded and tattered. I have a map. <laughs> Chewbacca looks over his shoulders at the others. The way some people look at one another in a nightclub after they found out they have no <laughs> friends. <laughs> Enfys approaches them. <laughs> And where will this so-called map take us? I know where the Rebellion is. I've known for a long time. They're on a ship called the G-Host. <laughs> you know, I, I believe it's pronounced ghost. <laughs> <laughs> they called it that? Why would they call it that? <laughs> Because it's an antique ship from a long, long time ago. How did you find them? It's what I do. Find. I'm Emphis Nest, and I'm mighty fine at finding. Han and Chewie look at each other and smile. Okay, then. Let's find this ghost ship. I've got a bone to pick. Han? Punch it. Hmm. Punch what? <laughs> <laughs> it. Punch it. What is it? <laughs> Han, punch it. Han ponders the situation for a moment. <laughs> Do you need me to show you how to punch the button, Han? <laughs> I can punch it. I've been punching it since I was 13 years old. Then punch it. I'll punch it myself. Pretend it's not my fault and show me what to punch. J just for fun. Like role playing. Chewbacca gestures to the obvious pulsing red button on the dash. It is labeled Hyperspace Go. Han punches the hyperspace button and the Millennium Falcon rockets into hyperspace. <clears throat> Epilogue. <laughs> Interior. Lando's Island House. Night. Lando is relaxing in his huge island house. The halls are stacked high with treasure and boxes. Lando smokes a cigar and crunches on some candy. In his hand is a recording device. <laughs> the Calrissian Chronicles, chapter 20, continued. After the incident in Azanko, I was visited by the Queen of Torto. She's a half human, half Doric, wild thing person. <laughs> She's terrifying, yet strangely beautiful. And if you're a scientist and you need a research subject for a genetic experiment or a body to sacrifice for science, you couldn't find a more agreeable partner. We brokered a deal for her help, and as always, she was not reluctant to help. The queen took her pleasure with me. <laughs> <laughs> then I saw a figure silhouetted in the doorway. <clears throat> it pointed guns at me. It was my red sleeved bride, Cello. But that's another story. Lando hears a noise behind him and switches off the recorder. Boba Fett walks in and sits down. They are sitting together in a dining room. <laughs> Boba Fett slowly eats chicken. <laughs> I wonder if I have to kill you too. I'm going to take this gun off my pants and I'm going to drop it on the floor. Lando watches Boba Fett take out his silencer and removes his helmet. Lando bends over and picks up the gun to look at it. 
Lando knows this is serious because Boba Fett is wearing his serious mustache. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't look like a regular gun. Of course not. It's an assassin's gun. And it can kill you. (laughs) Hey, you don't have to do that. You can start working for Jabba and get in on the real action instead. I'm done. I don't have to do anything but action. (laughs) I have to get to the party in the middle of the night and bring back a bunch of colds. I need you to go to do this dead drop. And you are not to talk to any one of the waitstaff. You take a gun and you don't leave until you have the colds. You know what's funny? If I get you these codes, you'll sell them for spice. Then sell that spice to your buddies and not share any with me. Then I have no choice but to kill you. So what do you want? To be my pal? Is that what you want? Because if that's what you want, it's probably a decision that's no longer available to you. Mr. Palamine. (laughs) Flashback. Exterior. Sewer Road. Florida. Day. (laughs) Han, Lando, and Boba Fett walk along the dirty road, looking bewildered. They are haunted by three characters from other flashbacks within this flashback. Martin Starr is a young man who shot Lando's dog as a boy. Son of a bitch. Martin revealed to Han in secret that a drunken Lando brought a dead bird into his house as a birthday present for his dog. The dog ate the dead bird and became gravely ill. Martin, with tears in his eyes, hugged Lando, telling him not to be angry because he knew that Lando did it to be funny. (laughs) Martin shot Lando's dog to put it out of its misery. Aww. Need help forgetting. (laughs) You got it. Boba remembers his friend, Froth Kermauer, as a young man. He was mugged by thugs for the valuables in his jean pockets. A chilling one of them brandishes a laser rifle. Another henchman standing behind him has a plasma machine gun. Han did nothing. He needs help, Han. You don't know me, but you've helped me once before. Tell them what you know about the aliens. I'm not crazy. I'm cured. I'll mind my own business. Whatever happens isn't my fault. As a baby, I discovered that Lando is my (laughs) (laughs) Oh. You're the mistake. (laughs) And you're sleeping with my wife. That explains a lot, I'd say. <laughs> what is happening? And her mother. <laughs> oh, God. oh, man. Lando told you to visit your mother because that special birthday present he gave her. At least your timing was excellent. <laughs> Lando remembers being alarmed by Carl Gustafson, the sexy housekeeper who falls over a lot while trying to seduce Han in the first scene. <laughs> I don't think it's very likely that you're Han Solo's son and while you obviously look very similar you don't have his voice in any case maybe take your hands off his thigh just in case (laughs) Lando remembers announcing that he would hire a woman to replace Carl Han was overcome with joy. Boba Fett was there. You're home, homie. I'm here to pick you up. In the final flashback, Lando, Boba, and Han board an aircraft carrier from the building. The trio fly to ILM. Of course they do. They They decided to go with other worldly main characters. I don't know how good the movie is going to be. But I had my promise to keep. 
An old friend of mine is a very rich businessman with an old VHS cassette of Star Wars. <laughs> he got this copy of the original VHS tape from his ex. And I guess the film was gone from stores already. He said I can have it. And you never know. Maybe it'll show the true colors of this Sith wannabe who's trying to ruin my life. I just want a sequel or something. That, I've got to look good. Because this so-called comedy my old friend's throwing together, it might actually be funny. But not if I'm hunchback and all limping and shit. I have some way to deal with all this. But not right now. I've got a movie to shoot. I'm sorry, pal. But I've got to get back to work. I hope I receive more critical acclaim this time around. And some younger groupies. <laughs> These OT fans are really out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are. The trio arrived at ILM to a small group of Boba Fett groupies on the landing platform. Yes! <laughs> they are very old humanoids, appearing very brittle to the touch. Four younger, hotter groupies are riding ATATs in a reconstruction of the first Battle of Hoth. Their hand painted signs feature Han and Lando's names surrounded by love hearts. Aww. Oh, I'm ready for action. <laughs> Flashbacks end. <laughs> so, if I find you some younger groupies, does this mean we can work together? Yes. But also only if we're best friends. If it's not too much trouble. Bro. <laughs> trouble? Boba Fett makes a kissy face at Lando. <laughs> <laughs> I've got... I have a feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> well my done. God. Oh, my. oh, we did it. We got through it. Oh my god. Wow. Well oh, done, Alex. Yeah. Hey Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Jar Jar. Um, Commander Charles. Uh, yeah. that's canon. Yeah, now. We, yeah. Can we canon. get Commander Charles out here to take a bow. I mean, that was. Yeah. 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 Wow! Absolutely. I should get oh, I my, my, uh, Charles. my stuffed one. Yeah, God. Thank you, Patrick H. Willems. Yes, <laughs> Patrick Willems. Karen oh, W. God. The kissy lips through the mask are nightmare fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah. but I had to do it. Oh, Amazing. God. Oh, man. I had to. And then no way. I was like, I saw that in there. I was like, nope, not correcting that. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it. Nope. Just, Just leave, leave it. it there. I definitely oh, tried to do like a Han Solo impression for a while. I was like, nah, this is such a, yeah, just, yeah. I, I, I no. can't, I can't do like you, Chris, you man, that Lando dude. Like I'm going to tell you, that, that Lando is good. Ass. That Lando is good. Yeah. Charlie yes. and Gio to the future of the Star future Wars. Star yes. Wars. yes. Call that one. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, right. Oh, oh man. God. That has got to oh. be a tweet. Commander Charles. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it does indeed. Oh, oh, it was so good. And uh, yeah, the fandom shade is, oh, it's God. amazing. God, when, it I, really I, good. when I tried to explain it to Patrick, like what we're doing with Charlie, he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, just, just shoot a couple of seconds of video. And he's like, I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. I'm like, yeah. don't worry. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to. I was, <laughs> I was surprised by both redacted things yeah. Uh, yeah alex and commander Charles. this was a wonderful surprise so good to see you alex <laughs> yeah i was my heart was pounding trying to get the timing right <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the answer is well well oh man i was lifted i was elated it was so good <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god oh uh yeah he needs I, uh, his own trilogy uh, yeah <laughs> <clears throat> Alex made a lot of dreams come true today with yep. Darth Vader. Uh, yeah, it's there canon. were a lot of wishes. Yep. Canon. As soon yep. as I saw Alex uh, uh, post a comment, I was like, 
Oh, I think he's the. Uh... I was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what it, what it, what's funny is, like, I texted Alex. I'm like, "Hey, watch this uh, solo thing. You're gonna find it's. You can't wait to see who the cameo is meeting Charles. And then motherfucker <laughs> comes in. So well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> Very well done. Hey, Dan. Dan. Yes. Were you were you were you as giddy as I was during the punch it scene? Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> that was that that's was the great. Best that was yeah. that was well written. Like that's not AI writing. Yeah. That was that was top notch comedy yeah. writing. Right? Yeah, there. that was good. That <laughs> that's was like really a robot good. chicken sketch. Yeah. 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 Punch yeah. what? <laughs> Why do we say that? <laughs> that was awesome. It yeah. punch yeah, it. That, that was. So <laughs> I was honored good. to be a part of that. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was that was really that good. was a great one. Just re yeah. Going through that and editing that was uh, was a joy. Uh, I'll take a little bit of credit for that one because it wrote, it wrote, uh, it punch it. What is it? It, it did. <laughs> what is it? And then it uh, it also wrote. Hold on, let me go back through it. It wrote uh, Kira's line. Where are we? Where are we here? The specific one. I'll punch it myself. <laughs> and I, it, it wrote oh, that and I just went, that was one where i was like yeah okay i think that one i think that one's a that's a euphemism it's got to be a euphemism so I, yeah, like, yeah i'll take that a one bit of credit in. for that one yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that needed yeah. expansion yes well done oh, man i just so want to yeah. thank you for the inspiration of the uh boba fett mask yes <laughs> i made a i'm gonna order a rubber one i think for mole Oh, that's good. That's like yeah. I ordered a Jar Jar one. It didn't get here in time, but uh, oh, that doesn't that matter. Great, yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> so, is it not Han's not fault? My fault. Yeah. No, <laughs> that could have been the title of this one. If yeah, like, Solo Two. It's not, not Han's fault. fault. Yeah, literally, like you. If you watch this and take a shot every time I say it, you'd be dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be dead uh, for sure. <laughs> oh God, yeah it. Oh. Yeah, we had, we did a live stream, uh, yeah, with the patrons last week, and I was just like, just, just wait, like this this script part two was ridiculous. Yes, yeah, I think it was more. Do you think it was more ridiculous than the yes. first one? Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I am, yeah. Too, for, yes, yes. Because I, I laughed to tears more times this time <laughs> than last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It and it was like consistent. Like I think with the last one, it sort of like took a little while to get into it. And there were a couple of small laughs, and then it sort mm. of gets weirder and weirder and that <laughs> that tends to be the way that these the generation works because like you've you get a whole bunch out then you have to pick what the scenes are and throw some of it back in and so the start always ends up being kind of kind of okay like kind of a, a reasonable setting nothing too crazy like i think in the first one the first very first scene like the, the weird the most odd <laughs> thing is like uh, Lando holds up his mini tools and I, like it's, it's super subtle, <laughs> super subtle. There's nothing to it. But then once you throw a bit more into it and you and you generate, it just starts going. And uh, there was there was some stuff where I like wanted more dialogue. Like I wanted more stuff fleshing out, especially in the flashbacks. So I threw it back into the AI and there's a little slider in the AI. It's like, how realistic do you want the <laughs> machine learning dialogue to be? And it, so it's at a baseline of one and I changed it to 1.05. Just so just the higher the number, the less realistic. So I only did a, a it, tiny zero increment. Five. Oh, wow. Yeah. How high does that slider go? Uh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah random word. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and how, he ended up flashbacking in Florida. Yeah, Jeez. that's funny. I will say, how good if Andy has a point though? There was not much pe as much penising in this one. I so. saw that as I mean, well. There, 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 I was, agree. there was, there was, there was in a there way. Was there wasn't a way. And Claire, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just, I also sorry. felt like there wasn't a, there wasn't as much bed sand. You know, only one mention of that. I was all out of it. Bed bed I was all out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, still had chicken. Yeah. I, I, oh, thanks, I, Wendy. Yeah, Just yeah, so absolutely. everybody yeah. knows. Yeah, Luthien was awesome. Yeah, Luthien right. was great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I tried Amazing. to get Sean's dulcet tones. No, it was perfect because you were reading <laughs> yeah. it no, you so calmly. It was so calm. I had to great. read this thing ten times through before I could get through it without just 
the laughing best part, hysterically. But it was good that you didn't because it was like the narrator had to be serious, even though it was so absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. And you nailed it. It was awesome. Yeah. It was very yep. much uh, Alec Baldwin narrating Royal Tenenbaums. I just <laughs> owned it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's amazing. It shows. The singing. Uh, oh, my oh God. Oh, my the God. Singing. Yes. It was not really. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Wow. No, Adam, I, I think you I, did well. I yeah, I, but I can't carry a good. tune. I, he went I straight to tune. lounge singer. Yeah, <laughs> I, it's like the closest I could do to actual singing because everything else is just like my 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 girlfriend's not here, but she would tell you like I am not allowed to sing. Like I don't understand rhythm. I don't understand music. I just I'm like like singing. She's like that's not even what the song sounds like. What are you doing? And I'm like that's the song. It's like I'll start singing the Star Wars theme. She's like, what is that from? I'm like that's Star Wars. She's like. That's not Star Wars. I don't know what you. I know. It's Star Wars. And then she'll hum it back to me, and it's it's Star Wars. I'm like, but that's what I'm doing. She's like, no, it's not. So, yeah. <clears throat> not a lot. Oh my. <laughs> I do like the idea that in like Boba Fett just always eats chicken. I just love this idea yes. that he's like, well, well yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good. He's never hungry. <laughs> so. I'm going to cut now that this is done. I'm going to cut, make a little super cut of like best ofs from each character because there's some nice. really ridiculous stuff. And uh, I'm gonna <laughs> harass, I'm gonna absolutely harass uh, Robert Rodriguez on Twitter with the with the Boba Fett eats chicken. Yeah, <laughs> do it. Yes, gonna, do it. Yeah, do it. on Twitter is a great plan. I'm gonna tag him. I'm gonna tag him until he blocks me. <laughs> like Matt, yeah. I think we all right now are gonna stage an intervention. I don't think you should do yep. that, Matt. <laughs> I really don't think <laughs> rethink your life, man. No, do it. You could have had a bad off. I say do it. I say do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. See Boba chowing to down Java. with porgs. <sighs> right, Borg. Um, I think everyone's uh, going to be upset if we do not see Boba eating chicken in the book of Boba Fett. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. At yeah. the very least, it needs to be a catered Popeye's lunch on set for yeah. every yeah. Yeah. Just in the point yeah. of being yeah. real. It's just like, yep. there we go. I've got I've got <laughs> There's the hashtag. There's the hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope at like celebration 2022, there's like a guy walking around with like a Boba Fett yes. outfit and just a bucket of chicken. Yeah, that would be amazing. I would be. Or Sarah so Morrison yeah, comes out on stage <laughs> with a bucket of chicken. I would die. <laughs> I would. I would oh yeah. Oh Dan, greatest. We'd add a special hook to the back of the rocket you know, of the jetpack so you can just hook the you know the bucket of chicken on. <laughs> oh, this is oh, I found my chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Special Boba reps to me. Oh God! Hell yeah! So good. So How good. I survived the Starlack. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt. Yeah. No warp storms. No warp storms True. at all. And you know, we didn't even. There weren't even some that came up in weird spots that we edited out or anything like that. There was just no warp storms in this one. No one got beamed up anywhere. That mm -hmm. was, was a fun. Yeah. 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 And, uh, as a reminder, like up. all that I fed the AI was a transcript, not even the screenplay of Solo One because you can't find it easily. Um, someone, there's a wiki that's like transcripts of movies. So I just mm. put the transcript of the movie and that's it. The, the, AI's only had that and itself to feed off, and it's just thrown all this stuff in there. <clears throat> Carl Gustafsson, like the sexy housekeeper. What the <laughs> yeah. So th that was all AI. You didn't I mean, make that up for this. I seriously that was, was looking was at that, that going, is there a hundred percent named Carl Gustafsson? Wow. <laughs> no, no. I love that Martin Starr yeah. comes in to play himself. Yeah. Right? yeah. And yeah, Florida really nice. also comes into play itself. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the um yeah, the whole flashback thing, I only shortened it. There's nothing in there like the other than like always grammar. There's always I always have to do grammar on the AI, but like mm -hmm. yeah, the the AI generated all that flashback within a flashback stuff. And that was when I had 
change the realism setting on it and was just like, yeah, all right, let's see what this does. <laughs> so how and, much uh, uh, how much cocaine? Um, yeah. Is the AI snorting? Like, I, you know, just like in going, going pounds on this one. Like, we're like, you know. You, you ever see the end of Scarface? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I> just... <laughs> Powder. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh, um, to everyone in the live chat, sorry, again, sorry if there were, if there were super chats and we missed them, I am really sorry. Like, you know, Florida, obviously we're a little bit, uh, you know, distracted, I guess. Mm. Um, but, uh, let's, let's do a bit of a round the room. Um, I'm not going to try and do it in an order. So, you know, if anyone wants to jump in and answer the question first, so same two questions from last week. Um, but the first one in part two. What do you think from Solo One, the AI deemed the most important? I think the Kira and Solo relationship, in one in one form or another, or at least the fact that I mean Solo has relationships with Kira and uh, and Chewie, so that that's apparently what uh, the AI picked up on was that that closeness <laughs> between so those characters. <laughs> Yeah. Also, right. the wowers. Yeah, I was gonna say it right. <laughs> Yeah, definitely romantic angst. Um, yeah. Maul, you know, doing a walkabout in the desert, feeling his feelings. Um, mm -hmm. That was intense, and the AI, the AI got it. Yeah, that was really surprising. <laughs> that was really surprising too. I love the like, continuity of like just the literal continuity of like that's L three. You met her in the previous film. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. I did love that. Like, like I demanded a sequel in. at the end. Yes. Yeah. It's like, yes, I do want a sequel. Makes I go to ILM. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it becomes I thought they were going to go in yeah. and just like torch the place. I was going, what are they doing? <laughs> I hadn't read that far. Oh, so good. So good. Um, and Boba got say, his younger girls. He got them. Yep. Yeah. And I what slept with his hell? mother. I slept with Boba Fett's mother. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> oh, man. I, I plan to be mad for an extra day or two over this whole, you know, OT fans are old and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. You're out of shape and also like, brittle. Bro, apparently. sitting right here. <laughs> like, how about Maul just decapitating Rhoda? Like what? <laughs> that was awesome. I was so sad. I Unexpected. Before awesome. we got to the he buffet was a, and everything, he was a droid fondler. He deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> Even Boba Fett doesn't put up with that. No, he just molests people with bed sand. Right. <laughs> He's got a line. He's got a line. He's not going to cross it. <laughs> oh God. Um, oh, yeah, it was really that was weird. Like that. Like. <laughs> Like I love that the script was like attacking like the fandom, and I was like, "Wow, <laughs> yeah. yeah," which are not part of this story. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, some of the pa the patrons I think know this, um, but uh, yeah. So the the whole Eben Hawk thing that was actually in the script. So the script was about twice the length, or maybe not twice the length. It was it was a good. Yeah, let's call it like 30% longer than what we've got. So uh, Sean and I were like, how the hell do we shorten this? Because we didn't want each stream of actual uh, script to go much past the hour. Because like, you know, I, at past an hour, it starts getting like, well, well, I can't remember what happened. You know, that, that was what we learned from uh, episode 10. It was a bit difficult. So there was an entire subplot of... Dash Renda and Eben Hawk and all that that was in the story running in parallel and we've kept it and it's going to get used but we cut it we cut it and I thought okay well what if we what if we include the mention and that's the only mention that we we kept in there so when all the ships land because every so you've got all the stuff with Lando Mall and all that just as we did it and then in parallel you've got uh Dash and Sana and they're going on a treasure hunt. And so that's all happening. And then they realize that the treasure that they're looking for belongs to Jabba and that Jabba has taken the treasure from where it was kept. Ooh. And so they like, well, let's go to his palace. And he so they would. all converge at the palace. Mm. 
Release that, the dash cut. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, really? Release yeah. the dash cut. <laughs> the four-hour slow forever. motion version. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we've we kept it. So we didn't just delete it. So, Anything that uh, was so, really good, we kept and put in another document. We're just going to use it. How, how do the names get like generated? Like, are you putting those like character names in and to see what they do, or is it just like one of those things where? It just somehow auto generated dash rendar because of auto. that's yeah. insane. Auto generated, yeah. So it, I don't have insight into where it gets its information from. You know, I know that it's machine learning in some some way, shape, or form. Is it because other people have thrown stuff into the AI and taught it these terms and names? I don't know. Is it scouring the web? I don't actually know. I should probably look mm. into this stuff. But kind of being a bit oblivious to it has been kind of fun because you know it's just like ah oh, <laughs> surprise yeah. <laughs> and um yeah the the only thing i've noticed is the less realistic you make the text generation the more uh real world names it puts in I, and mm. then and it refers to people as authors uh screen screenwriters all the it refers to people as having jobs in the film and writing industry a lot um and that's where the, I think the flashbacks came from. Like they go to ILM, they're talking about getting a movie and a sequel and all this sort of stuff. Um, it's so weird. It's so I like so to think that's like it. how the, now this is like how they like the right the like Fast Nine or something because those movies are just so absurd at this point. They're like just throwing the AI. Like all right, now they're in space. Sure, okay, go with it. Just go with it. Yeah, that's where that's why the AI reads fan fiction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I well, wonder with all the belly kissing and fan fiction. <laughs> this, is the, yeah. the, uh, this has been the best thing that I mean, God, this was a great idea, Matt. It really I mean, was. You are really on. Was. It is genius. Yes. I, I, every time I talk yep. to Chris about it, I'm like, these guys came up with the coolest, most interactive, fun thing you could do with a with a YouTube stream. Like it is awesome. <laughs> It's also very pure. Uh, that was something uh, Alex and I talked about this uh, uh, separately. But like, what I really enjoy about uh, this is that it's fandom at its purest. It's like, look, we love Star Wars. We love this universe. Let's just have mm -hmm. fun with it. We're not taking it that seriously. Um, we're laughing about it in this shared experience, and that's really refreshing, especially uh, with the way fandom can be in any uh fandom can be these yeah. days it's yeah. just like hey let's all just get together and enjoy this thing for being as yeah. silly as it is so it's, yeah. i think that's yeah. you know to, to back uh back that up like yeah it's just pure and wonderful and in just an honest way to be a fan absolutely here, here. Great. Mm -hmm. yeah. save what you love yeah i mean like well. alex alex you know when remember when uh <laughs> you had me and adat on your stream mm -hmm. and i made a joke about space mcdonald's or something like that or space burger king and do you remember that and someone in your live chat got really offended by that <laughs> like and and like you must deal with that kind of like super seriousness quite a bit mm -hmm. you know but that's this is definitely a refreshing thing to be like do you ever do you ever play that game where you put like a mustache on the the tv screen yes! and then you watch a movie and like anytime a face goes over the mustache and it fits, you like you cheer and you drink. <laughs> that's, that's what this kind of is, where like sometimes the AI will do something that I'm like, that's so Star Wars and they nailed it. And like you get so excited about it or when they do a fun twist, like the punch it thing or uh, whenever they make yeah. a joke on I've got a bad feeling about this. It's always yeah. so much fun. <laughs> I've yeah. got a feeling about this. Right. The yeah. At the end there. That I was love awesome. how that ended. <laughs> I love that, that when was... it read all the way through and Lando, and I could of course hear Chris saying it, I've got a feeling about this. <laughs> it was a perfect way to end. It worked perfect. for sure. Oh, man. Yeah. Chris, you're Lando. God, it's so good. Oh, man. It was it's so, so good. I was, so I, good. I was laughing, especially the, the Calrissian Chronicles. We need a part. Yes. We need to the hear the stories. Yeah. We need to hear the other so stories. Oh, my God. Wine the glass. Glass. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> Oh, we need to hear that other Calrissian Chronicle, though. It's got to happen. I'm Throw afraid to read those. I'm so afraid to read those. I'm so ready, and I'm so afraid at the same oh, time. Uh, yeah, so Matt, that Orlando story, like, that was good, too. You, you, yeah. You just, <laughs> yeah. That, feels like, that feels like an AI waiting to happen. Okay, we, we, no, no, Matt, that was that was totally AI. That one, too, the, the, the Lando was... The, the having a tug? So, uh, yeah, Lando story. Was that? Having a tug. That was hilarious. <laughs> 
I mean, they really want like. Wow. Like when they have the Lando TV show to like in- inject all the transcripts of those episodes into mm. an AI, and they just have oh, Chris yeah. like come oh, back boy. as a Lando oh. spinoff. That would well, be Dan amazing. and I got some. Dan and I got something ready for uh, for the Lando series. <laughs> oh boy. boy, I didn't know about this, frozen. Matt. You were <laughs> fro- you were Matt. You were frozen in the perfect smile. Uh, and now he's now he's catching his computer. Yeah. Oh, computer's yeah. catching up. Oh my God. That's pretty funny. Wow. Like Max Headroom. That was tricky. That was awesome. Oh my God! This is the best one. <laughs> oh, God. All right, yeah, I'm caught up. There we go. Oh, you're back. There yeah, I'm smooth. <laughs> smooth again. I knew. Smooth I again. knew Australia was way out of time with us, but yeah. geez. This right. is the future, so that's why it's so quick. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are catching up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a time warp, I think. Holy, it's a yeah. warp storm. That's yeah. what it yeah. was. Warp storm. There it is. Oh, oh so oh, good. Oh, absolutely. So Agreed, good. Wendy. Yeah. Agreed. I, Matt, absolutely. I was going to say that you need oh, to do a again. Patreon where it's just Chris just doing his, a, a Calrissian Chronicle special. Yep. Like oh, have the absolutely. AI write a, cro- a Calrissian yeah. chronicle. Oh yeah, it's just or like yeah, put in yeah, like uh, the, yeah, put in like the audiobook or the the uh, the, the the three novels in and see yeah. what happens. Oh, an wow. audiobook, yeah. Oh, my God. oh he's catching yeah. up again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. that was the worst frozen face. That one was oh, not that was good. that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think my Chrome is doing the thing that Dan's Chrome did last week. Oh, like, no. oh, I don't know. My fan, can you? Yeah, the fan is going crazy. Yeah, my my <sighs> computer runs. I have to like, like I said, I put an ice pack under this like stand I use, and then I've got a little fan blowing against the computer. I was like, not That's having that right. happen again, never. Yeah, no, <laughs> just awful. Just freaked awful. out. I had a panic attack when that happened. Um, what Wendy said about like a uh, happy pure thing, free of spoiler culture. Uh trying to <laughs> like there was a lot of effort to make sure you didn't know that alex was gonna be in this that was pretty good that was hey good. I, it was a great surprise i had no clue i didn't even commander charl no idea yeah. no clue oh wow. and i was Adam, pleasantly th- surprised thanks for being the middleman with with uh getting charl in here i uh <laughs> no uh motherfucker owes me uh <laughs> 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 Actually, I, ha- I have my uh, my my stuff, Charl now, which is uh, weird to think about. I remember when he was telling me about, like, oh, I'm gonna have like this coconut with googly eyes and have it being a recurring <laughs> character. I'm like, that is a choice. And I, yeah. you, know, like, <laughs> you guys should and do then, an interview with him. <laughs> we, you know, I, I I thought about doing something with him when we had him in set, and I was like. Ah! You know, we we kept it simple, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, 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 it's, it's. I can't believe there's a stuffed toy that my based on a dumb idea my buddy made. That's yeah. amazing. It's, Good on it. Yeah, really it's fantastic. Off. Very cool. Got I have mine right. Very there. cool. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's funny. It'd just be great to see a little like short interview. Be like, so, Charles, <laughs> um, how did you get into Star Wars? <laughs> Oh, your parents! <laughs> really? Great, yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so oh God, it squeaks. Wait, it squeaks. It squeaks. Oh, yeah. it squeaks. Yeah. <laughs> my dog. Like, would... <laughs> my dog would tear that to pieces. Mm-hmm. It's just so... to find that squeaker. <laughs> Commander Charles' Star Wars story win. <laughs> what a silly oh. idea, Claire. She would be a sex robot. I thought that really explained a lot of their relationship. I'm not yeah. <laughs> Yeah, That's and that you can for me. Yeah. Exactly. anything, including missiles. Yeah, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Missiles. It, it makes the Lando peeing on his leg a little different as well. Yeah, <laughs> that was yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think to that question, what was the most unexpected part of the story? The golden shower. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. Wasn't ready no for one that. saw that coming. No one saw that coming. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Definitely not. Like, <laughs> nope. No. You know, I did. Knew. I did enjoy the um, the the stormtroopers just mocking the emperor. I that was <laughs> really good. Yeah. 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 I just, I just like to, they're out in the middle of the desert making yes. fun of their boss. Like, I like the one of the words was just like Senate. 
<laughs> was it like it wasn't there like a tags and bix or like that guy who basically wasn't yeah. yeah yeah that yeah. was very much that energy yeah it yeah. wasn't yeah. weren't tag and bink meant to be uh they were supposed in, to be in solo, they were in solo yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 in the deleted in scene uh, i think in the christopher lord and miller's version yeah is yeah. what they were supposed to be involved in uh, they're in a deleted yeah. scene it's on the the blu-ray oh, yeah, it's on ooh, it's, it's on the blu-ray right, yeah I don't have the Florida. <laughs> you go, Florida. Yeah, that's true. What kind of fan are you? Cool. <laughs> the uh, Florida was one thing I, I really was like, oh, should I change it? Should I leave it as Florida? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah, I think no, it was no. it was perfect. Of all the states yeah. you could have picked, that yep. was the best one. Yep. <laughs> it, it, I mean, yeah. it's the most I mean, likely to be in Star Wars, I think. And <laughs> Sue the Road. The outrageousness of this whole story. Yeah. yeah. And most Florida does location. have Star Wars in it, so. Yes. Yeah. It's the most likely lo location of a, you know, seedy cantina where you'd find Han Solo. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Someone true. said I'm Han Solo. I come from Space Florida. <laughs> <laughs> where where is it? Someone said earlier about who gets to write about Batman in the wiki. Um but mm. yeah, Batman Karate Party. All right. Yeah. Batman <laughs> karate contest. Batman karate party. Yeah. We've got to but figure out what in, the in, hell that is. And yeah, in I this universe, he's in actual Batman. At first. I guess. But like I guess yeah, it was, it's there was a Batman at the cantina ordering a drink, right? The, in the yeah, uh, there we go. Yeah, okay. and yeah, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred won't make me drinks anymore. Where's the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is really. Uh, you can't shoot really first. Good. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I hate blasters. Head's hand is used. Oh, uh, yeah, it could be Alice. Alice. It could very well be. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Oh, my God. Manda Flor. Oh, I can't even say that. Manda Floridians. <laughs> oh. Wow. I think I said it right, but I like the word. Bat Mandalorian. <laughs> bat Mandalorian. Oh, bat Mandalorian. Good. One. Oh, there you go. I'm the Bat Mandalorian. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> this is my child, Grogu. <laughs> He's my ward. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Did you say Ward? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been reading a lot of Game of Thrones too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what Batman calls Robin. He's been my ward. Yes. Yeah. No, I know. Well, I was I yeah. was referring to that. No, but Dan said our Game of Thrones. I, don't know I know, but that's where about. I was thinking. That's where my brain was going. You nerd. <laughs> I had to go through a second reading. They're so good. Oh, and then God. the TV show happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Totally All right. Uh, <laughs> Grogu in a tiny Robin suit. Yes. What? Yeah. <laughs> Let's yes. see that. Somebody yeah, someone get on the that. fan art, please. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. Right. Oops. Sorry. Wrong one. Everything is going quite slow on my end. Um, <laughs> everyone have... In the live chat, I, I guess, like, everyone have a good time? Everyone follow the story? Like, you know, like, do you remember what happened <laughs> I, last week? If I, you followed the, follow story, the story. I honestly yeah, don't I know what the story if was. Could, yeah. If you could follow the story, I think that's a problem. <laughs> I yeah. can't follow this. I, I just know that me and Lando ended up being best friends, and he's my dad. Yep, and I, I boned his mom. <laughs> <laughs> I think like if you read the if you read it all as one thing and, and like maybe it's because I've like read it over and over and over. But I think there is actually like there's there's a flow to it. Like there's a stuff happens, you know, like like we Han Han breaks out. <laughs> yeah, stuff happens. Stuff happens. Han, Han, yeah. should we break as, out? As any good storyteller will tell you. Stuff there's happens. There's your honest trailer happens. for the day. Stuff happens. <laughs> Oh goodness! It was it was <laughs> things happening in some sort of logical sense. Like you know, they break out. They they're getting attacked when they break out of the prison. Maul and Kira save them. But the Maul shit wants they them. Say. To... Oh, it's what they say that really throws it all off. But like the narration and all that stuff. Like if you just look at the narration of what's happening, I think it all actually there's a story there. 
Hey. But but the dialogue is so so distracting. Yes. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little, little bit, bit. <laughs> like. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, like I, I challenge you guys to like go back through both of your scripts and and actually like just read it as as a narrative piece. Forget the but, dialogue, and you'll go, ah. Oh. But man, not can't... actually that much happens. <laughs> like three things happen really in the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> I can't peeing, figure there out. There was some kissing. There was some flying. There was some decapitating. There was some, some penis <laughs> <out> showers. <laughs> yeah. I I'm still trying to figure out how the chicken has been attached to all of this. <laughs> Why? Does there need to be a reason? You and me both. Not. That's true. There doesn't Brilliant. need to be a reason. Yep. <laughs> it was definitely a series of events. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it right there. Yeah. I, like, I like Maul being able to fly and, you know, that was Maul's fun. I thought best. that was Yeah, very someone surprising. mentioned earlier, it's like, like oh, our two legs. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what, do we, what do we? What do we call him last? Last week, there was it a sad Vegeta. Yeah, that, sad that Vegeta. Like that? <laughs> what we were saying. He definitely sounded like sad Vegeta. <laughs> well, Kakarot, oh, you beat me again. Yes, I'm the prince of all sins. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I don't fun. know if we all laughed over it, but did everyone pick up the dad line? There was Lan Lando is Boba Fett's dad. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like we're best friends, and he's my dad. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That, Which is the relationship it, you want to have with your dad, <laughs> right? <laughs> the groupies. Did that get picked up by the people? What, like in the live chat? Please say, did you hear that? <laughs> like, <'cause laughs> I think we were all just like really baffled by, by it all. <laughs> <laughs> just to put it, put it lightly. Look what, look what Karen said. Instead of following the story, I followed Chris's uh, baffled, <laughs> baffled facial expressions. Facial expressions. Yeah. That's getting a super cut. That told the story. Like, yeah. Yeah. Chris's, yeah. Chris's reaction. Chris. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> and, yeah. The Jar Jar Maul resolution is really good. Like when when Jar Jar gets generated. Oh, I remember when Jar Jar got generated, I should say, Sean messaged me and he, like, we do this all the time. Like, we, we take little screenshots of what the AI spat out and message it to each other and just be like, <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> like, uh, there was this one here that came the other day. I'll, I'll share it in a second. But, um, yeah, when Jar Jar got mentioned, Sean sent that to me and I was just like... And I, I think, like within <laughs> within two seconds, I was Alex. I was texting you. I was just like, "Hey, <laughs> so hey. Like, oh no!" <laughs> <laughs> you know how you uh, signed a deal for the Banthaverse? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me show That's you. That's pretty funny. And this one here, when so this was when we were fleshing out a little bit of uh, the dialogue because it was a little short and. Uh, I love the frozen expression as he's talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I like the, the fast afterwards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this God. is my, my, my hot slutty new wife. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then you buy who's this piece of slut yeah. you got here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I'm talking about myself. I'm like, I, I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lando eats an invisible cupcake. cupcake. Yeah, yep. so good. It was, delicious. <laughs> it was quite tasty. I... The shame like... Boba gets chicken and you get an invisible cupcake. I got Galaxium yeah. likes to eat. We're always eating something. <laughs> good job as well, like doing the invisible cupcake eating. Yeah, as well. yeah. Really. yeah, absolutely. And you sounded like you had your mouth full when you were talking yeah. about it. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> it's good. Oh God! Uh, we've got a good comment here. The plot is not an entire story with continuity and stuff. It's about certain events or habits reoccurring. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's still <laughs> like, yeah, the little things that just happen over and over and over again, kind of makes it feel like a story is happening. I think, mm -hmm. like, even, even if it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The spider monsters, <laughs> like, what's with? This this yeah, one was yeah, you know what, you know what, Matt, spiders. Matt, that's what I wanted to ask you about because you know my thing with spiders. So I was yeah. like, he put that in there just to mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> but that she was all AI. I was a spider monster and she bit my yeah, face. It's the worst nightmare. 
I know. I, I heard the spiders and I was like, Chris? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm I looked okay. over. His face was stone. He was just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so good. That's great. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, uh, this has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, thank you, everyone, again, for being cast. Like, just thanks for. <laughs> Thanks for jumping in on this and like doing it blast. and uh, yeah. agreeing, yeah. agreeing to put your face <laughs> and your oh. voice <laughs> to something. Not that, my face. Uh, because I found it. I, here's here's the text. Here's the text exchange between Matt and I. Uh, Matt says, "So like the AI has generated a small Jar Jar role in Solo." Sean messaged me and was like, "How? It's mm -hmm. tiny." I was thinking, "How would you feel about doing the role?" And I replied, "Well, Jesus." Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of the way Harrison Ford took to the Force Awakens. Right? <laughs> sure, I guess. Uh, uh, well, I'm not doing anything that day anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm the only one that hates the Kermit voice, but everyone else seems to love it. So love it. Just... <laughs> love it. It's perfect. Love it. That's perfect. It's, it's perfect. It's I just it. absolutely perfect. Uh, and I just yeah. I wanted to thank you for thinking of me and Chris and everything for all of this. I mean, it, yeah, absolutely. Man. This has been nothing but a pleasure, and it's been so much fun. So, thank you. absolutely, yeah. everyone. Thank you very much. This was a, so much fun. All right, I'm I finally got to use wanna, my green screen. Yeah. I'm excited about that, Matt. I am begging yeah. you to make me knee walk in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is making demands uh, for characters. I'm not. A, I'm a king. I don't I'm get a out king. of bed unless I'm a knee walk. <laughs> I, I, and I, I, I will say like i i'm honored to be han solo even though i i clearly cannot do a harrison ford impression uh it's at the level that chris can do a lando impression uh but i i'm really excited that like this dumb haircut that i got when i was 16 is i'm like i literally i shit you know this is the thing i actually did i went to the woman who cut my hair at the time i brought a star wars essential guide they opened it up to a page and i'm like with han solo's hair i'm like that um, so that's why I have a split here because it was like just ah. above the left eye, and that's literally like where my hair is now stuck at for the rest of my fucking life. So, <laughs> like, this is like like a 22 year payoff. Thank you. Finally, <laughs> that's amazing. Finally. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. Oh, I. God. Uh, God. I. I don't know. I mean, it's a mystery why I was uh, not cool in high school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that picture that you've got of you. Uh, as uh, Shazam, like you know, you've been sharing around for Shazam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's no, that funny. my dad. I see you. Know, like my dad was a huge fan of uh, of Captain Marvel and and Shazam and all that. Yeah. And he made me that costume, and it's like one of those like you did it's it because so cool. it's your dad. And I'm just like, okay, I feel so <laughs> awkward. And my mom sent it to me because she was looking at her photos, and I'm just like, I looked at him like that's so embarrassing. I'm gonna share it. <laughs> 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 it's, uh, it's like i was explaining it to my girlfriend and she's like yeah because you're just comfortable in who you are i'm like also yeah it's just it's just, it's just a dumb dumb thing to... yeah. if anyone ever wants to know why totally. i am the way i am you look at those photos like yeah you had no fucking choice <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right let's uh let's all have a little bit of a breather and a drink uh we're gonna go and join uh the broexium live stream in uh when is it like 15 minutes guys uh about 20 about 20 yeah. minutes all right cool so minutes. we've got right. a bit of a break um yeah if you haven't got bro axiom uh, as part of your youtube subscriptions go to that address there or just type it into your youtube search box in a second uh and you will see a live stream pop up there we're just going to continue this chat and this banter uh all over there um thank you to everyone that watched and hung out um, and I'm sorry, I'm freezing throughout all of this. Uh, but you know, just reminding you again, if you haven't hit like before you leave, do it. If you haven't shared this with someone, do it. If you haven't subscribed to us, what are you doing? Do it. Um, but thank you for yeah, helping us continue this just idiocy, this absolute idiocy. It's, <laughs> it's magnificent fantastic. foolishness. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, thank you again to our patrons. Uh really makes all the difference so that we can actually pay for software to do this cool stuff. Uh, you should have your illustrated screenplays 
uh, will be delivered in, I think, about 10 minutes as well, if they're not already delivered, uh, now that everyone knows who the, the cameos uh, are. And thank you again to Louis. Uh, this is, yeah, he jumped in at such short notice and did those illustrations for us, which were hilarious. <clears throat> Brilliant. And even, yeah, like, right up, right up to the, like, the very end, you know, he was going back and he was like, oh, I just realized, like, where is it? Uh, hold on, let me find the, there's one sketch, one particular sketch. <laughs> this one here, like he, yes. he's like, oh, I forgot, I forgot Boba Look Fett's legs. <laughs> like he, so he did that awesome. illustration twice because he did it the first time and it was in full Boba Fett armor. He's like, oh, I forgot the, he's got his like shorts and skinny legs. So <laughs> like, yeah, so he went Bravo, back and Louise. did it. Well done. We didn't know. Very well done. <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> I, I said I sent this one to when you sent it to me, I sent it to, to Patrick and he's like, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> and also like there was one thing like when I was talking about having Charles come on, he's like, he can't talk. Like that's the one rule. Like he can't have yeah. a voice. And he's like, and then like there was the next text was like it's insane that I have rules about this. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was like, that, that was a last minute addition. Laura, yeah. you were asking uh, during the week, it's like, oh, did I miss the screenplay? And it's like, no, I hadn't sent it to anyone because we didn't know until quite late whether Char was confirmed. Mm -hmm. So we had the additions of Char and like a couple of extra lines of dialogue so that people could like, you know, so the stormtrooper because troopers could basically prompt him and like so we had that sitting there as like suggestions in google docs just waiting just <laughs> waiting and then as soon as we got the thumbs up i was just like accept 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 and uh yeah louise had, had made two versions of this drawing you know just in case just in case yeah. so we, we didn't we didn't know until the last second that it was gonna work and happen uh so yeah again thank you Adam, thank you for being a uh, middleman yeah. on all of that. Uh, and thank you to Chow for dedicating your time. Uh, I know that, <laughs> you know, being being uh, the manager of Patrick Willems is probably a full-time job. <laughs> like, you know, but thank you. It, it's, you know, he's got a lot of work. Uh, and Alex, thank you. Hold on. Uh, is it coming up? It's there. Uh, there we go. It's there, there we go. Alex, thank you again. Thank you for your secrecy <laughs> and oh, your yeah. support <laughs> with all of this. That's, uh, yeah, that was really cool. Um, and, and again, everyone, it's it's been a blast, absolute blast. We're going to uh, have a little bit of a break uh, from doing AI stuff because, you know, we've done two quite close back to back. Um, I think we haven't voted yet. So patrons, uh top tier patrons you're going to get to vote on which one we do next and that will determine whether or not chris is an ewok um, yeah. i'm i'm thinking uh i may actually take i may actually take the mall rose place off for a second just because uh yeah i think i need i think i need to have a break and just do one where i'm producing only and not having to look through tiny little pinhole <laughs> eyes and try like you guys know what stream yard is like i've got to like look through those little holes read the script <laughs> and then look over there and be like it says image and then i gotta find the image and, like, click it. And so it's, i think it's yeah. important though that we we point out that with the mask and the pinholes your pirouette was on point mm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. no mm. pun intended pun intended yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pun intended <laughs> pirouette pirouette <laughs> My God, my God! I can't wait to watch this back because I'm trying to keep up with the script so I don't lose my place in which part I'm narrating again. So half the stuff I could only really glance at my my screen to to watch it. So I'm very excited to to watch yeah. it back fully. Yeah, and Lou, Ditto. Luthien, thank you so much as well for being on call um, oh. and jumping in as narrator. Like you, You're yeah, so welcome. you nailed it. Great job, nailed it um thank yeah, you yeah we had no idea what was going to happen with that so yeah thank you thank you you are again. welcome thanks for asking me and i had 
it's such a blast. It's baby's first AI reading. <laughs> I've always been in the chat moderating, and now I got to be a part of it, which was absolutely phenomenal. So thanks, Sean and Fee, for having your baby. <laughs> <laughs> they planned it that way. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was intentional. It was all intentional. Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, everyone watching, thank you once one last time. Uh, thanks for thanks for being really cool in the live chat and keeping this thing buzzing. Uh, it's always always a pleasure doing stuff that uh, makes people laugh. And uh, if you enjoy it, uh, yeah, keep coming back, and we'll keep making them. So let's uh, yeah, let's go have some coffee. Let's have some water. And, this uh, morning for you. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's nearly 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 lunchtime, um, and yeah, we'll jump on to Broaxium, uh, whomever can make it, and yeah, we'll see you all there. Ta ta. Bye bye. Bye. See ya.